Hi, in this video, I will replace my factory windscreen with an aftermarket one. Stay tuned. This is my 2007 BMW R1200 GS. The bike has now the factory windscreen and this is a little bit short because it caused me some buffering on my head. After digging on the internet, I found this brand, this WRS brand, it's an Italian company, that manufacture a windscreen that it's uh, like the adventure model for this, for this bike and it costs a fraction of the price of the BMW one. So let's open it right now and you can see that the windscreen oh it came it came with some scratches oh it's a pity but in general it's a really good looking windscreen so looking right in the front i will put it roughly on place you can see here how bigger it is i will try to do it like this maybe like this you can see it better okay so let's now take the bmw out and put the wrx in in order to fit the new windscreen i have ordered also the brackets that sustain the bigger windscreen on place in the middle this is like the the factory one it's this one is made of aluminium really light and i also have all the bolts and nuts and washers and everything that that it's needed so all the gear necessary comes here with some instructions this should be really easy but you see it came with detailed instructions to show how to assemble it. So this process should be really simple. We need to remove these two bolts right here and also untie this one and take all the stuff that it's inside. In my case, I have this bracket here to hold the, the GPS, it's a GPS mount from Turatec. Uh, I will leave it on for the moment. I will take this away and then I will test fit the new assembly and see if I can keep this bracket or if I need to take it away and mount the, the GPS uh, directly on the, on the frame of the windshield. So we start with the Torx T25 and we start to undo these bolts. I didn't check the instruction yet, but I think we need to reuse these ones. Not sure. Take the nut inside. So now that we have both bolts out the windscreen it's free on the front uh, pay attention to these mounting pieces that we will reuse them in my case they were a little bit loose and uh, the windscreen vibrate a little bit so i put some uh, o-rings on it some standard ones and uh, that fit snug and uh, i will show you in a moment so now we take both sides this piece over here okay you will need a 10 millimeter socket to hold the nut inside Okay, so we will have a, a small accessory inside that you need to hold to finish 
to remove the bolt. You see, I will show you the whole assembly in a moment. So, we have this one. This is the threaded part where this bolt. This is the insert on the windscreen. And you just have the, like, the counter nut that fix it on place. Okay? So, inside, outside, and the big plastic piece in the middle. Now, let's take the other side. Now that everything is disassembled, you just, we simply remove the windscreen and it's out. The plastic pieces, we have new ones that came with a new windscreen, so this I will leave them right here. So checking the instructions, the assembly it seems to be really easy. So we have already take away the old windscreen. Now it just requests to put the, the new rubber bushings on the new windscreen, put the metal inserts on the top one, and then to mount the, the, the fine tuning piece with the washer in the middle between the windscreen and the bracket. Uh, then just tight it really well. We don't have, oh, we have, we just need to 2.5 newton meters to torque the, 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 the bolts, the Torx bolts, and uh, that's it. Uh, the kit brings new bolts to use on the, on these parts right here, but it don't has, uh, I don't know why, but it don't bring new, new nuts. So I will put some new, new ones in. And uh, you see, this is the, the small O-ring I was told, telling you that I just put here to avoid this piece, these pieces to vibrate and to, to make some noise. And uh, so it seems easy, let's, let's start to do it. So I will start with the rubber bushings. We have four of them, they are all equal. So it doesn't matter the position, we just need to slide them in. They fit really nice. So, all the four are now on place. Now, to help to mount the, the bracket, I will slide the, the metal inserts in here. So, one on each side. These inserts prevent that the, the bolt uh, damage to damage the, the windscreen. So this, the metal inserts are there, the bolts are there. And now I will just put the bracket inside and slide it here in position and just point the bolt on place. I will do the both sides. I will not get it really, really tight. Just snug the bolts here in place. So I'm test fitting the position of the windscreen. And if I put it on the upper position, it's okay. But if I want to put it down, it will clash with the Turatec mount that I have. So I think I will just remove the Turatec mount in order to give me more freedom to move the windscreen. Because I don't know if it will be too high or not. I need to fine tune it. And uh, with this assembly, I cannot because it touched the, the previous mount. Now that the Turatec bracket is out, we can take the pieces, split them. See, they have these three parts that goes inside there. And we have the washer in here. It's the washer that needs to, to stay between 
the, the aluminium bracket and the windscreen. So we just take the windscreen, point it here in position. Okay, now I think I will put first the two the two bolts in here in order to make some fixation down here. Do not forget to put the, the metal inserts and now just position the two bolts. And now I can take care of these parts. I have been inspecting them, these parts. I've been inspecting them. It seems to me that they are equal. We don't have a left side and the right side. So I will just put them there. This, this part go in, then the washer, and then the fixation. I notice now, I don't know if you can see it, there's a R inside of this part, so this is the right piece and the other shot we need to have, yes, we have a left on the other one. So randomly I was putting it correctly, but uh, pay attention because they, they have side. Finally, I have the first one in. So, first this part. Now we have the windscreen in place. It looks really, really, really nice. Really nice. I had the windscreen installed now for uh, several days and I have been using the bike and it's a total game changer. The no more buffering on the helmet and uh, it's a really nice, really stable, no noise, nothing. It's really good. I just did a small change to the to the bracket here, to the to the mounting piece, because let me see if I can show you. Right in here, there was a small part that limit the. Um, the, the position of the of the mounting piece. I cut that away so I was able to put it on the upper position. You can see now it can reach the the upper position on the on the on the on the bike and it came like in this angle that it was exactly what I wanted at the beginning. So really nice really stable it was a really, really good mod. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe and activate the notification button. This way you will, will not lose any of the new content. So, see you in the next video. Bye!